Finding the right time to go back to work after having kids can be a difficult decision for some. We meet a mother of two who found her answer while decorating her own home. Marina created the home of her dreams and channeled her newfound talent into a business through social media. We see what makes her home special on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra. After having a baby, Marina and her husband purchased a property that needed a lot of work. Instead of being overwhelmed by the process, she was excited to tackle the design of her own home. While not an interior designer by trade, she managed to create a beautiful home with touches of modern Hollywood glam. This 4,200 square foot home has five bedrooms and four bathrooms. It has been completely updated to fit this family's lifestyle. Marina, welcome. Hi, hi, Alina. Thank you for coming to my home. Welcome. Well, welcome to SoFlo Home Project. We're Thank excited you to much. have you here with us today. Let's talk a little bit about your background because you are an influencer on social media yes. and the arena of home decor. Give us a little bit of background on your story and how it all began. Okay, so we purchased our home about four years ago. So the first thing we did, we, placed, we replaced the floors, we did the roof, and then when it came to all designing and decorating my home, this is where I realized that I have a passion for design and for decorating it. I immediately knew I'm going to continue doing this for the rest of my life. That's so exciting and that's awesome. And I'm, I'm looking forward to really kind of diving in and, and finding out more about your design Thank style you in so this home. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to have you here. So let's take a seat and first yes. talk about this living room. So this room, okay. I'm sure we've seen it on social media. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about you know, how you started the design and came up with this concept. My uh, inspiration was, you know how we go to hotels, five-star resorts, and we look at the lobby and we feel like, wow, I wish I had that in my house, right? And you always have that feeling like, why can't I have it so well designed? But then guess what? You can. So you, you can. bought it in your home. Yes. <laughs> and so I wanted something very, very, very massive and glamorous and modern. So I chose a chandelier. So I so chose this is the start. Yes, okay. it's the star of the room for sure. First yes. thing you see when you walk in, exactly. and it just it plays to the high ceilings. I love mixing up styles. So if you look at my living room, you can see that I have a beautiful transitional style sofa, mm -hmm. but it perfectly goes with a super cool accent chairs that are so modern, yeah, it's contemporary. Really nice shape. Yes, very nice shape. To make it more glam, I see touches of fur. We've got a beautiful drape throw over that. Yes. The pillows behind us, uh -huh. so that little accent of fur, do you feel also adds to the glam feel of the room? Yes, it does, definitely. So now, really, when I walk in my home, I feel like in a five-star luxury hotel. Well, it absolutely <laughs> reflects that, and I love the way you bought it in with the finishes on the table and some of the pillows. Now, Thank the big you. question, you were a mom of two young kids. Yes, that's How my favorite. How does this room stay so perfect? It looks perfect. <laughs> you know what, I don't have to do much to keep it very well maintained. We have to teach them that respect your clothes, respect your items that you play with, respect the furniture. They know this is mama's job, this is my, my passion, they call mama's decor. So I said, <laughs> don't mess with my decor. And you know what, yes, they like to jump on the sofa, they throw pillows, they put it back though. They can read this book and look into it, they put it back nicely. You can still have absolutely the most gorgeous home and very well staged and designed and still have kids who are crazy running and jumping and playing, you know, it's all normal. That's the part of our life. Well, that's great advice. <laughs> Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, we see how Marina transformed her dining room into a stylish space with a touch of glam. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we're continuing our home tour with Marina, who is also a decor influencer on Instagram and has honed those skills into creating a beautiful design in her own home. Thank you, thank you. So glad to have you guys. Welcome to my home again. The great room expands from the formal living room into the dining room. This is a stylish and elegant room that has that Hollywood glam feel that Marina loves. What's a dining room without a beautiful table setting? Exactly. So you switch your table settings up often, I would yes, assume, right? Yes. 
As you know, uh, my main color theme through my whole entire house is uh, I like mixing metals, gold and silver. Then I placed a silver table runner and then I chose um, placemats, which are also gold, and then the napkin rings. And then I put some nice fancy glasses. Yes. So it looks a little bit more fancy and gives you that, you know, festive um, feeling and look to go for. So I feel it's not, uh, it's not looking so much, so dressy, but at the same time, it gives you that special feeling. Well, it's absolutely beautiful and very inviting. And <laughs> yes. speaking of beautiful, let's talk about the chandelier. Yeah, that's my favorite in this room as well. I feel like it's a waterfall and though it's, there's nothing gold, there is nothing super, uh, you know, fancy, but the crystals, I like how it reflects the light yes. and it creates that, you know, festive mood. You did something here that I think a lot of our viewers might be interested in seeing. So you have arched windows behind there. Yes. But mm -hmm. you cannot tell because the shears cover it up and it exactly. is very difficult. I find that's one of the homeowner questions is yes. how do you treat arched windows? Especially that I'm trying to go for a very modern look. The arch round shaped windows are not looking so modern. So what do we have to do? Hide and decorate, of course. <laughs> and you did that perfectly. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> so Marina, now we're in sort of what I would say is more of your foyer entry area of the yes. home. And it's a little bit more open and, and not like a narrow space. So you've, you've done something nice over here. Let's Thank talk you. about this. So yes, this is one of, my, one of my biggest challenges when I design my home because my house is pretty much almost missing the foyer. As you can see, I just have a 40 inch wall and you know, with 40 inch, you can't even buy a console table, you can't even buy right. a Not cabinet. A lot of space. I decided to just put a mirror because everybody needs a mirror when you enter the home and I managed to put a nice uh, white glamorous looking bench to go right with that it. Touch of glass. And, yes. yes, and it's probably, I have to admit, one of my favorite areas in my whole entire house. So now you've got the home office right behind us, which yes. I want to go check out. It's another continuation of your glam space. So Welcome. <laughs> On the other side of the foyer is the glam home office. This is the perfect place to help Marina get inspired. Marina, so the home office is so pretty, so glam, and I feel you. like it's so you. Yes, it is, for sure. <laughs> what I really like about this space is that it's an office, but it doesn't feel office -y. This and is it... what I wanted to have. For my home office, I wanted to add a little bit of uh, different colors. So I went for a brandish look. Like I put that curtain that has a pattern and then I put these um, chairs and I went for the mirrored furniture and then this picture is like gold and glamorous. It reminds me every time I look at it that this is this is what I do for a living. <laughs> Creating beautiful <laughs> so spaces. You can all your inspiration from sitting in yes, here as well. Yes, yes. This is where I spend now almost most of my days. This desk is great. It's almost like the size of a table. Such a large, great space to work and, and you have all your stuff out. Yes, you know what? I'm gonna tell you a little secret. This desk is actually a dining room table. It did feel like <laughs> it has an has extension a nice in space. the middle that you can make it bigger. So uh, I don't always go by the book of design, and this is my favorite part about designing homes. When I saw this table, I saw immediately, wow, this is such a gorgeous piece to add to my home office because it has the same bronzish color yes. to match with my um, shelves, to match with my cabinet. A lot of things you gotta look yes. at: material, Catalogs, paint swatches, yes. books, yes. and the computer. So. What a great find to do that. Coming up next, we explore Marina's modern and versatile kitchen. We're continuing our tour with Marina of her own kitchen and she styled it and designed it herself. Opposite the living room, we find the updated kitchen. This room is a great place for preparing a meal or mixing a drink. So Marina, when you moved into this house, you said the kitchen before was not functional the way you would want it, correct? The kitchen was not functional. It was very, very dark, almost black. And then it had a huge island right in the middle of the kitchen, which I totally did not love. We opened it up and now, guess what? This ended up being the party place. Every day now when my kids come from school and I cook the dinner, we put Alexa Everyone music and they do here. dance in here. <laughs> nice. This is my favorite. No, and you really truly have to design your kitchen for how you live. We created this design, so we have a bar here so that we can put liquors or we can put, if we don't want to have liquors. There's some lighting under those, oh, right? Oh, yes. So nice. It illuminates all the bottles. Yes, so here I keep some bar uh, glasses. Very nice. Some, some, so it's some been sealed when you don't need to see it. And then here, 
I like to display this as a snack station. I have kids and it's, they come from school, they already know how to climb there. We have some healthy snacks, sweet snacks, but healthy snacks. It's a mix, it's a variety. Yes. <laughs> but they all look so pretty and with the, the varied height jars and everything exactly. else. Exactly, I love adding heights and then again it's functional and stylish. Absolutely, and I love the way on this tall wall, because sometimes a tall wall of cabinetry can get very heavy. Yes. And with breaking up the way you broke it up with the, you know, the two different colors and that there's not so much hardware, it's a nice clean sleek look, but yes, still super you. interesting. <laughs> so let's talk about this area here. Was this always one level? How was the kitchen before? No, was it the of course bar it height? wasn't. Yes, it was old fashioned way, the high level and the lower one. So we knock it down, we rebuild the wall and then we wanted to put a backsplash, which we matched with the cabinets. And then if you notice my chairs, they add such a statement to my kitchen. They pop up and they make a big difference. It's yes. very, very, very modern. It's the same time as glamorous. And to me, gold is always a touch of luxurious, you know? I love it. Yes, this is where all, everything happens. My kids have breakfast here. Sometimes, you know, where the guests come, we have a glass of wine for holidays. We always get together in this area as well. Well, that's great. It's the kitchen is where we do spend the most time in our homes. So Absolutely, it has to be yes. comfortable and beautiful. Yes, agree. <laughs> Next on SoFlo Home Project, Marina's glam style continues into the master suite. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we're continuing our tour with Marina, our homeowner who has a flair for design. You're also an influencer on social media for home decor, so you've got your own kind of signature style, right? Yes, We've seen yes, a sure. lot of beautiful glam, kind of modern glam looks throughout the home in the master bedroom. That is no different. The split floor plan offers the master suite a lot of privacy. This room has an eclectic modern vibe with a touch of glam, of course. I wanted to make sure that rooms feel so relaxing and comfortable almost like if you are trying to meditate. I went for um, my main color, as you can see, is the white, and then I added a little bit of gray accents, and then um, I had some also contrast, which is a dark floor, yes. which I kept the dark floor because I So this was existing with the this house? This was existing, it was dark brown though. We, we repainted the floor, but we didn't do any other, we didn't do the marble because I wanted something to stick out on the white bedroom. The contrast that you spoke of, yes. really bold contrast. You get the dark mm -hmm. floor, pops of white and ivory. Yes, I have everything that you All can imagine. The little accessories, yes. and again, those bring the color. So with the pops of color from your accessories, your bring florals. Bring the colors and bring the style. It's, it's again, like it's, it's the way to express yourself through every single corner of your house. And now in here, this light fixture. Oh, that's Beautiful. my favorite. Lots of great crystal. Tell us I about know. this. Look at all the sparkles, right? So what can be better in the bedroom than a nice Swarovski with a lot of crystals, with all that sparkles that comes to your bedroom. So when you wake up, you see all this light, the sunshine goes through it, different colors like a rainbow. It makes me just happy. It makes me smile. It's so pretty. And it, I love the way you tied it in again with the lamps over here. Mm -hmm. so the first room that I don't have too much gold, but I put a lot of silver here. So white and silver, which is more calming. Yeah. For the bedroom, I don't want it to be too much bling bling, but still, I found a way to a make little it. Bit. Yes. <laughs> and then also on this bench, you see there's there's some little crystals in of the top course, thing as well. Yes. <laughs> so you, you managed to fit it in, but on a different way than yes. in the other rooms. Uh huh. So if I did not mention the beautiful roses behind me, it would not be right. Oh so my gosh, yes. <laughs> these are like larger than life. And that's the only touch of gold in the whole room, but yes, so in the pretty whole room. Mm -hmm. makes a statement. Those are handmade. So it's a paper, yes? It's a paper, yes. So pretty. It's called Fancy Bloom. Very cool. It's a great, it's such a great pop. And like you see it, and you, it's the first thing like you walk in and it's like, wow. Yes, that's my favorite accessories in the whole entire room. A real personal touch. Of course, real personal touch. Well, Marina, this has been a wonderful tour, just kind of learning a little bit more about you, how you've started your Thank business you so and, and your journey and all of your home decor styling here has been lovely. So thank you for joining thank us. Thank you very much, guys. It's been a pleasure. And to our viewers at home, we hope that you enjoyed this home tour today and we'll see you again next week for another episode of SoFlo Home Project, only on Local 10.